Hi sweet friends, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My sister and I are so glad you found our channel. If you like DIY, home decor, and style on a budget, where we inspire you to find your unique style, we hope you'll consider subscribing and being a part of our YouTube family. If you like what you see, we would love a thumbs up and we would love to hear from you guys. In today's video, I want to share with you two decorating ideas. First, how to set a beautiful and super easy fall tablescape and how to make a beautiful fall floral arrangement that you could use in your entry or to set on your front porch. For our tablescape, we're going to start out by just using some old books at various heights. This will help us create interest in the table. So, after we get our books on the table, the next thing we're going to want to do is cover that with just some material. I was hoping I had some burlap, but I didn't, so I just took ribbon that we had on hand and just laid over the cloth just to create more texture and interest. The next layer I want to add are these beautiful fall leaves. I have three bunches that I've laid one in the center and one on each end, just spreading them out. After I have that in place, I'm going to start adding the pumpkins. So I've just added pumpkins that are on top of those books in various heights. I've tucked some smaller pumpkins around the bottom as well. For our dishes, we chose to use some vintage dishes that were our grandmothers. Um, the chargers that we have in place are some we picked up at Home Goods. The napkins are just a beige napkin that we put in place. We've also added our, our goblets. And to finish this look off, we have just added candles. Some tall pillar candles, and then also some little candles to sit around the table. As you can see, we do not have a beautiful farmhouse table, but the table we do have is one that is sentimental to us because it was our parents, and we've spent a lot of family meals at this table. Um, we would like to eventually update the chairs, but this just goes to show you that just because you don't have the most in furniture doesn't mean you can't create a beautiful tablescape with what you have. You're getting a sneak peek also of a scarecrow that I'm going to be doing in our next video. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this really big scarecrow that's perfect for your fall season. The next thing I'd like to show you guys is how to make this really simple statement piece of a flower arrangement that you can use in an entryway on your front porch. Let me show you how easy it is. We went to Michael's and found the most beautiful flowers. They were all 40% off and basically we just chose what we liked. Um, I'm going to show you next just kind of what all we picked out. Here are just a few of the things that we bought to make this arrangement. To start off, we just took a pot that we already had on hand. I filled the bottom with bags. I put some styrofoam on top to fit really tight. And I also placed a grapevine wreath on top. That just gives your flowers a little more something to grab onto. 
we took cut three sticks from our yard and I just arranged those kind of one in the middle and one on each side. Now I've taken the greenery, I've got three different bunches and I'm just keeping them all together and adding one in the middle and then one to each side. And also just to keep in mind this arrangement will not be really seen from the back, just mainly the sides and the front. That's all I'm decorating. The next thing I have, I have three really tall bigger flowers and I'm going to take those and place one in the center toward the back. I'm going to add one to the far side and then one in the, in the middle front and that just creates that kind of triangle and I'm keeping it really off just to one side. And I'm doing this because I want to add pumpkins to the other side. So the next thing I have are these beautiful fall leaves. I have three bunches. I'm not cutting them apart. I'm just leaving them all whole. I'm putting one in the center and again, one on each side. Okay, now I want to add one tall stem of flowers. They're just some um, cattails that are a tall piece. Then I have a smaller bunch of flowers that I'm just keeping them all in one bunch. I'm just going to add that to one side. Next I'm going to take another taller bunch of flowers and add that just to create some more taller interest on the other side. And to balance it out, I wanted to bring in some darker orange. So I'm just adding a few uh, flowers to the opposite side right there. Now let's add our pumpkins. This pumpkin did not have a pick, so I just took a piece of floral um, stem, cut it off, and I'm poking a hole in the bottom of this pumpkin, and I'm actually just going to stick it into that grapevine. And that holds it perfectly. You might want to add some glue to your pumpkin uh, stick. These other picks I found at Hobby Lobby, they already have the pick on the bottom of the pumpkin. So I'm just, like I said, sticking it kind of into that grapevine and that's really holding it really pretty tight. You could always add a little bit of hot glue if you wanted. Um, I just know that this isn't going to last very long. It's just really for the fall season and I'm going to take it apart. So I'm just kind of just sticking things in there. I also have some orange leaves, just a few pieces I want to tie in that darker orange and I'm kind of adding it to each side. And I got those flowers from Hobby Lobby. The pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby and the rest of the, the flowers are from Michaels. But that's it guys, it's really that simple. to decorate using more of your traditional colors. Um, tell me what you guys like. Are you all more neutral or do you love the bright fall colors? Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We appreciate it so much. I hope that you'll try some of these ideas for yourself this fall season. Before we leave, I just want to share a Bible verse with you. You don't have enough faith, Jesus told them. I tell you the truth, if you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. Matthew 17, 20 and 21. Guys, I pray that if you ever have doubts in your heart, that you will just trust God to see you through every situation that you have. Sometimes having faith is the toughest when you have the most to believe for. But Jesus said he would always be with us and never fail us. So trust him today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.